limbs we picked up and those down trees that we cut up. Uh, today's a good day to burn them. It's not very windy. It's cool. We got a good rain over the weekend, so I don't have to worry about any of the surroundings catching on fire. And as you can see, it's burning up pretty good. It's gonna take it all day and most of the night to burn up, I think. in the winter when I had to chop the net wrap off of the bale before I started unrolling it because it was iced over, I said we'd come back the first warm day and pick up the net wrap. And that's what we're gonna do today. It's a pretty warm day. That's all there is to it. Started this number 88 had severe respiratory problems and as you can see today can't tell if there's anything ever wrong with it. We got to keep this high mag mineral out for them to keep them getting grass tetany. get the corral set my neighbor that I bought some replacement cows off of back in the winter he's bringing those this afternoon to bring uh, the number of cows I have at each place back up to what I consider is the optimum stocking rate for the number of cows per field like uh, acres per cow I usually run about two and a half to three acres per cow uh, that provides them with enough grass that I don't usually, unless in times of drought or severe weather, have to supplement them with any grain or, or extra forage. So just trying to get my stocking rate back up to normal. replacement cows for me and uh, one of them has a, a calf I'm gonna tag it a little heifer calf uh, the other one may calve tonight the way she looks but we're gonna name this little heifer calf Kimmy in honor of a friend of ours who's going through a really tough time right now
maybe one cow short, but I gotta count them again to make sure I don't count very well sometimes. No, I miscounted. They're all here.